New South Wales is also in the midst of a heat wave. The state's biggest electricity consumer has been ordered to power down to take the strain of the electricity grid during the catastrophic conditions. It's a signal of Australia's looming power crisis. Coal plants are shutting down and experts say there'll be no new investment in baseload power until there's a political consensus on a carbon price. Chris Yulman explains. The political heat is rising over South Australia's latest blackout. What you've seen from the Labor Party is sheer, mindless incompetence and complacency. This was a failure of the federal regulator rather than anything to do with the generation mix in South Australia. The regulator admits it underestimated demand and didn't call a gas plant into play as it struggles to keep up with a changing market. We certainly uh, weren't asleep at the wheel. But as East Coast power generators also struggle to meet demand in a heatwave, there is a much larger question. What does the future hold as the nation confronts the uncoordinated shutdown of old generators? The problem that's occurring here is coming to a city near you on the eastern seaboard soon. To be quite frank, without Queensland power today, New South Wales would be in absolute dire straits. South Australia is the canary in the coal mine of Australia's looming power crisis. Most of the nation's investment in renewables landed there, driven by Commonwealth subsidies, not state targets. Wind farms grew to more than 40% of power supply and helped shutter the last coal-fired power station. Now the only local generation is solar, wind and very expensive gas. The state's lifeline to baseload power is an interconnector to Victoria's brown coal plants during peak demand, if the wind drops, if the interconnector fails, supply is squeezed, the wholesale power price soars and the system faces blackouts. Soon, Victoria's Hazelwood power station will close, cutting that state's supply by 22%. So Victoria's electricity grid will become more fragile. Next summer, it will be tested and across the country, power bills will go up. Add to that state-imposed bans on developing new gas fields and the entire political class are the authors of this crisis. The only answer is a single national bipartisan energy plan and the simplest is to put a price on carbon. In the absence of that carbon price, um, investors are just not making any decisions because they can't work out what to invest in, what to divest, when to divest, what sort of technology is going to be viable. There are more uncomfortable summers ahead. Chris Yorman, ABC News, Canberra.